This is an example of working with portfolio variances and we're going to be working with these two equations here. And so the first thing we want to do is figure out what these symbols mean. That will make things a lot easier. Uh, so we have the um, Greek letter sigma, lowercase sigma here, which stands for the standard deviation. And we have sigma squared, which stands for variance. And this is not a coincidence. The reason the symbol for variance is sigma squared it is, is that it is the square of standard deviation. So variance is the square of standard deviation. We also have the Greek letter rho here, which is going to stand for the correlation between two things. So uh, first thing, thing we might want to do is find the minimum variance portfolio. Or in other words, if we have two stocks, how do we put them together in such a way that we end up with the least risk or variance? So here we have stock A and stock B, and we have some information about them, their return, uh, the standard deviation, and the variance, and the correlation between the two things. Um, first thing, we might notice that we have a couple of blanks in our information here. This is just to emphasize the relationship between standard deviation and variance. If you're given the standard deviation of a stock, in this case it's 0.03 or 3%, we figure out the variance by squaring it. Uh, don't forget square is the caret, which means raised to the second power there. And if we're given the variance, to find the standard deviation, it's the reverse process. We have to find the square root. Uh, that formula is equals SQRT. Number down there. Uh, so we have those filled in. Also, don't forget, just as a tip, that you are giving yourself enough decimal points because if you don't, you're going to end up with some rounding problems here. Four is good enough in this case. So we have that information here. So if we want to find the minimum variance portfolio of stocks A and B, this formula says that the percentage that we need in A is equal to, and we'll put this formula here, uh, some stuff in the numerator which we'll surround by parentheses. This is the variance of stock B. Then it says to subtract the standard deviation of A times the standard deviation of B times the correlation between A and B. That's, we're done with the numerator. We have to divide by parentheses the variance of A, which is here, plus the variance of B minus 2 times the standard deviation of A times the standard deviation of B times the correlation between the two. That gives us an answer, 0.826 or about 83%. That means the minimum variance portfolio consists of about 83% of stock A and, if we do one minus that, about 17% of stock B. Uh, notice these are all in decimal form. You could do this entire thing in um, percentage form. Notice the answers didn't change over here. So that is just uh, your preference as to how you want to do that. Or it might depend on the way the information is given to you. Okay, so that's the minimum variance portfolio. Uh, another thing that we might want to find is given two percentages, you have 50% of A, 50% of B, or 10% of A, and 90% of B, what is the variance of that portfolio? And since we've just done this over here, um, we'll label these XA and XB, let's see, we'll find out what the variance of this portfolio is. We know it's the minimum variance between the two, but we don't know what it is yet. So this formula says, we'll put this right here, that we take the percentage that we have in A and square it, that is this number squared, times the variance of A, which is here, plus the percentage that we have in B squared, the percentage we have in B squared, times 
the variance of b, which is there, plus 2 times the percentage we have in a times the percentage we have in b times the correlation between the two times the standard deviation of a times the standard deviation of b. Okay, that tells us that the variance of this portfolio is a very small number, 0 0.000775. If we let's throw these in percentages in for a second just so the numbers are a little more sensical. Uh, so that we can also show a point here. Uh, notice the variance of stock A here is 0.09% and the variance of stock B 0.36%. When we combine the two, the variance is actually lower than both of them. This is a very important point in portfolio management. Um, this variance 0.077 lower than the variance of A. So even though if we were to start with stock A and then we add stock B, when we do so, even though we will be increasing the return, we are actually lowering the risk, at least for a little bit, um, as we add stock B. That will keep occurring, this shows us, until we've added actually about 17% of stock B. So. This is how we use these formulas to uh, look at portfolio variance with the very important point that combining two stocks, depending on their correlation, will often lower the risk of either of the two stocks alone.